it's, uh, it's, it's something very interesting here. Oh, it stopped now. The sun is shining on the side of the Snyder's, Schneider's truck, and the reflection of it is shining on the ground on the side. See it on the railing? Let's see if I can zoom this in. Can't really pay attention to it. See the orange moving along with it? Now he's going to turn off. Darn. Well, he was driving beside a hill, and the whole time he was driving by the hill, there was an orange. There was an orange um, spot on the hillside, and it took me a while to figure out what it was. But finally, I figured out that it was. The sun was coming from this side, hitting the side of the truck, which was then shining onto the onto the snowbank. You see the snowbanks here. We're south of Scranton. I think we're south of Scranton, or we're near Scranton somehow, Pennsylvania. I didn't realize that this is the east edge of Pennsylvania. I thought we went down through the middle. I didn't realize that Ohio is on the edge of Pennsylvania. I guess I knew it somewhere. I wasn't sure which order Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois were, but I guess I did know that Illinois was the, the last one. And I didn't realize Ohio butted up against Pennsylvania. Those are interesting flashing lights on the back of that truck. You see that? Can you see it? It's not even a shadow there. I can't do it. It's been nice driving here today. I was going to go to see JFO Bug, but it's the middle of the afternoon and I really want to use my daylight for driving. When it gets dark, then I won't be in such a hurry to go anywhere to keep driving. I don't know how long it'll take me to get there. I'm going to Georgia. And today is the 23rd of March, March 23rd, and it is 3.54 p.m. And I'm going from home, which is in Ontario, Canada, down to Georgia. And I'm, ha I'm a little bit bored. Syracuse there was a police there were a lot of police officers and I, I passed I think I passed three police that had pulled people over and within not too much time 15 minutes I was in the Syracuse area north of it and in the area and south of it I guess <sighs> And then there were other police. There was the black one that went by. And there was a white one that went by. And there was a greenish one at the rest area. Kind of pretty here. So the forecast for this area is snow through Sunday. Snow showers. I've never heard them called snow showers. 
guess I always hear them called flurries. Snow shower. And I guess sleet is what we call freezing rain. Because I've never heard the term freezing rain, sleet at home. But I hear freezing rain all the time whenever the rain freezes when it hits the windshield. It's just above freezing out there, in the middle of the afternoon, so I guess it's going to go down to freezing again. There's still snow sitting on the trees. <gasps> Sometimes there's water beside the road, like down there, it's real pretty. It's a pretty river down there. This road is really in a rough shape. I tried to ignore it, and then I decided I would do it. Did you see my shelves I made? They're in the back seat. I don't know if you can see them. I'll just put you over my shoulder, see if you can see them in there. Oh, well, I don't know what you saw. What did you see? Was it fascinating? Ski Resort. I'm very surprised to see so much snow. I thought that we had the coldest. <sighs> but we've gone pretty far south. I'm still on I-81. There's a surfboard on the top of that car. I've seen kayaks on cars. Well, one kayak with a bicycle on the back. And now a surfboard. Now we're coming up to Carbondale. These are very bare trees. I wonder if that's a beach. I've been stopping at the welcome stations when I change states. That's one thing I learned from my father. You have to stop at the station and get a free map. So I got a free regular map and I also got a trucker's map.
I better let you go.